What's going on everybody in YouTube land? Thank you very much for being here today. Yo, I appreciate you guys for stopping on in and checking this one out. This fragrance here is crowd pleasing. It's so addictive. It's very, very good. If you're a tobacco lover, think you're really going to dig this stuff. You need to hang tight. Stick around. This fragrance also reminds me of something that's been recently discontinued. More of a reason why you should stick around. Anyway, stay tuned. My full thoughts and review of Daniel Hossier's Ombre Tobacco is coming up next. You stay tuned. There you are. I appreciate that even more. Before we continue, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. You guys already know I'm a lover of tobacco. You could pretty much just put tobacco in like a note listing. And uh, yeah, I'm like a sucker for it. I'm drawn into it. You guys know it, so whatever. I do want to rewind uh, time a little bit, about a year or better ago. Uh, my buddy Drew from Monkey's Tropical Adventures, great friend of mine. Shout out. What's up, Drew? Talked to me about this fragrance and he was like, man, you got to try this. I think you would fall in love with this stuff. It's really, really great. And um, for whatever reason, you know, other things come up. There's so many fragrances, and I'm sure there's many of you that could relate to this point here. There's so many things that are on our wish list, are on our, uh, you know, next to try list, and so on and so forth, that sometimes things get, you, you forget about them, and it just, it just happens. Well, uh, you fast forward a year later to present time now, and uh, my good friend, he calls himself Au Descent over there on uh, Instagram, my good buddy uh, JD, shout out to you if you're watching this. He made a post about this fragrance, and I'm like, oh, ha, there it is. Daniel Hossier's uh, Ombre Tobac. Got to check it out. I went on the website. I was taking a look, and, um, you know, I was like, 145 bucks for a 50 ml, which you guys know I collect 50 mls, or $180 for a 100 ml. So I went ahead, and I grabbed, I picked up, bought the, uh, the 100 ml just because when I was doing the math, I said for an extra... 50 mls for just such a, a, a small amount of uh, extra money it's the value is is there it's cheaper for per mil to purchase the 100 ml bottle you don't have to do what i do i'm just explaining to you what i did this fragrance is just awesome no you know it's not anything new it came out in 2014 daniel hassier he's not new he's been around i believe he's been perfuming and been in the industry since the uh the late 90s, like 1996, 1997. Like I said, the, this fragrance here was launched in 2014. Why am I talking about it now? Because it's newer to the collection and it's amazing. Look at this presentation. You guys know I've said it. I'm a sucker for good presentation. I know I'm in the minority there and I don't care. And uh, reason being when, so Eau de Parfum Concentration, you can see there's your fragrance information. There's the front of the box, sides, nothing. The back has nothing on top. Name of the fragrance, Ombre Tobacco, and it says for adults only. So anyway, the reason why I love attention to detail and presentation so much is because when you are investing, you know, your hard-earned money into uh, into this hobby or any hobby, it's nice to see brands that really take care of everything, you know, from, from start to finish. I don't know. It just completes the purchase for me and just makes me feel some type of way like I really made the best investment possible look at this it's it's pretty looking i love it i don't know if any of that makes sense but hopefully you caught my drift or something top of the cap there is his name nice metal cap ombre to back there on the side of course with the uh, concentration on a parfum like i said daniel hossier parfum on the uh on the front there your uh you have the etched glass of embossed his name there and some more of the batch information so Great atomizers, by the way. This stuff is incredible. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray it on the uh, on the back of my wrist here. Tell you guys what I get. I'm, you guys know I'm not scripting my stuff anymore. So you can look at a note breakdown if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going based off of what I smell and what this does for me. And I did great atomizer, like I was saying. I did memorize like some of the notes. Oh, some of the notes here, but... Man, this smells so freaking good. It's so intoxicating from beginning to end. It just, it draws people in. If you're, if compliments are your thing and you just love that about fragrances, which is fine, uh, this is a compliment magnet. Uh, people are really drawn into this. Men and women alike, 
Oh, it's so good. It opens up with this fresh burst. So if you read the note breakdown, I believe they credit like bergamot and incense in the top. And I'm going to explain what I get here because it's interesting. Now, I get honey here. I get a thick, dense, semi-sweet honey. It's not like overly or sickly sweet, but it, there's some sweetness here in the top. That bergamot is creating a fruity feel. Reminds me very reminiscent of an apple. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Um, I know, like I said, Apple's not listed as a note, but that's what I'm getting here. The incense that's used here. So don't think heady. Don't think kind of hippie-esque. Don't think that at all. Think cinnamon, right? So this is a spicy, warm, spicy type of an incense that's being utilized here. At least that's the way that I perceive it to be utilized as, right? So I'm also getting... You have that honey, you have that cinnamon, you have that apple. You definitely have the tobacco now as we get closer to the heart. Closer to the heart. Yeah, love Rush. Um, but anyway, as we get closer to the heart, we have the tobacco here. The tobacco is a leafy tobacco, a little bit on the dry side. No smokiness here, nothing brash, nothing harsh. Very beautiful, very smooth though. That's the one thing about this formulation. It remains... It. it it starts smooth right from the uh, the initial spray and remains as such throughout the entire life of the fragrance. Oh, it, it is just, this is one of those fragrances that you spray on and you keep going back to. This is one I don't normally spray like I just did for you guys. It's just easier for this purpose here to review, but I don't normally spray the back of my hand. With this fragrance, I actually do. So when I'm at work and nobody's looking, I could do like one of those and just smell it. It is one of those fragrances that you just want to keep coming back to because it smells that attractive. You have a woody feel. Now that we're in deep into the heart here, this, there's this woody presence. Now I believe memory serves me correct and what it smells like is sandalwood. There's also a slight hint of patchouli. The patchouli here, again, nothing heady. It's not earthy. All it is is adding a nice bit of spice. It seems like it's supporting that incense cinnamon spice that I was talking about before, that's what the patchouli is doing for me here. I get lots of vanilla in here. Creamy, silky, smooth vanilla. Is it adding a bit of spice to, uh, to the composition? It's pretty hard to tell if that's the vanilla doing it because you do have some benzoin perhaps. Uh, there is some amber in here. So there's other sweet components or elements, facets to this fragrance that could just be adding or lingering around too. So it's kind of hard to tell which one is doing that. And the reason why I also want to say that is because although this fragrance is fruity, it's sweet, it's not overly fruity. It's not overly sweet. Although I perceive this to be, from what I'm smelling, unisex, definitely. Maybe slightly masculine leaning, but ever so slightly, I'm saying. I could definitely see a woman pulling this off with, with no problem. I think less sprays would be better on a woman personally because like I said, leans slightly masculine. It's so good. You could really dress this up if, if you really want. You know, you have the money to wear this as a casual fragrance. You can. Seasons. I, I mean, you could. this could be a signature scent, really. I mean, you could wear this all year long. Summer days, maybe not. You know, this might be too cloying for summer days because it's moderately dense. You know, it's not the thickest fragrance that I have, but it's definitely not light and airy either. So it sits right in the middle of the density spectrum uh, for, for me personally, for my taste. Oh, it's just so good. But anyway, summer nights for sure. Definitely expect to see this fragrance pop back up again in uh, in, in summer nights. Fall, winter, spring, absolutely day, night, formal. You know, like I said, if you have the money to do it, casual. I don't see this seriously. I don't see this as like a t-shirt and jeans type of a fragrance. I see this more as like a casual layered fragrance. What I mean by that is simply, you know, if you want to wear jeans, throw on like like a thermal, like I have on now, but maybe put on like a um, a pea coat, or if you wanted to put on a uh, like a jean jacket or something like that, and then you wanted to apply the fragrance, like I can see that, um, but formal. You dress this one up, you're going to be the best smelling person in the room. Great for date nights, like I was saying, great for formal occasions, great for a job interview. Yes, definitely, but very... You know, I say day night because it does have this seductive, sexy nature while also maintaining the uh, the sophisticated nuances that a tobacco forward fragrance should have. So it, it maintains that sophisticated characteristic while also having a bit of sexiness to it as well. 
So you guys have been wanting to know, I'm sure, what it reminds me of. It gets me in the space of this um, very recently discontinued Paco Rabanne Privé. I love this stuff. It gets you in that, you know, because this comes across, Paco Rabanne uh, 1 million Privé, comes across to me like an apple pie. Okay, you, you, this Daniel Hossier's Ombre Tabac is going to put you or could possibly potentially put you in that same mindset as myself, that it reminds you of this, is that I wouldn't even feel comfortable putting a percentage on this because it's not this. It's not this at all. But can it be in the same family? Sure, absolutely. Would I recommend you buy this over this for what you're going to pay now? Sure. This At, at the shooting of this video, when this does go live, you're probably going to still be able to find this in rack stores and everything like that. While it's still readily available, that's great. But when this starts hitting that $150, $200 price points in that, personally, anything above $100 for this is too much. I, I would go with this right here. So this, if I could make, now I made a comparison. Now if I can separate these two into two different categories, I would say this is more of your playful, playboy. This is going to be your casual you know, t-shirt and jeans and stuff like that because of its sweetness, you know. This is much more sweet than Ombre to Back is. You know, this is much more youthful, much more sweet. This is your grown-up, you have your shit together. That's really what this, the message that you are conveying when you, when you wear this fragrance here. This is going to be your sophisticated gentleman-like, if you're a lady, you know, your, your lady-like <laughs> fragrance. You know, it's it just, that's the... That's the separation that I would give it. This is a little bit more, you know, youthful in a sense. This is a bit more mature, more grown up, definitely more sophisticated. As far as blends go, this is much smoother. You you don't you have you have more of a richness here, more of a fullness. You know, it's niche, so you definitely have the uh, the quality aspect. Not always the case with niche, but in this case, it it is true. And you will find out for yourself. You have the opportunity to do a test sprays both side by side. They smell similar, but they go in quite different directions, you know? But that's, being that it does remind me of that fragrance, and being that this is newly discontinued, I wanted to bring that up and share that with you because I don't want you guys wasting money, hard-earned money, on something like this that's just not worth that $200 plus dollar price point when you could have something like this, less than 200 bucks, that's a little bit more sophisticated grown up, you're going to get yourself better quality juice here for less money than what that's going to uh, fetch. Guys, this is fantastic. If you've tried this, let me know. Again, great alternative to those of you that love, like I still love, I still wear uh, Paco Rabanne Privé. Let me know. Um, oh, performance. Shoot, I almost forgot. Uh, one, one to two hours projection on the uh, cook performance to me personally. If it smells good and it gives me like decent performance, then I'm, I'm, I'm a happy camper, you know? This one actually performs pretty well. One to two hours, it, it is going to be the, uh, the, the, you know, it's most at its most potent uh, point there. It doesn't really sit close to the skin until around that uh, that six hour mark. Fully dries down, becomes a skin scent right around that seven, six and a half, seven hours, you know, is, is what you can expect total longevity. But yeah, the first two hours of this fragrance, it is loud, it's shouting, it's popping off skin, and it's great too. Great attention grabbing, sexy, you know, crowd pleasing type of a fragrance. Great stuff. Love it. Daniel Hossier killed it, knocked it out of the park. Now I want to know have you guys tried anything from Daniel Hossier? Have you tried this? Have you tried Green Leather? Um, Mystery Oud, I believe it's called. Yeah, you could tell, guys, this is a house that I definitely want to do more exploring. I want to dive into a little bit further. I'm loving this fragrance, as you know, because I've been saying that all along let me know what your thoughts and feels are about this if you tried it the comparison to Paco Rabanne 1 million Privé I'm going to shut the hell up and get out of here you guys have a fantastic day once again I want to thank you for being here and if you forgot it's all right like comment subscribe to the channel with notification bell so you don't miss any uh, future content share the video please I would really appreciate that all right take care of one another love each other respect everyone I'll see you guys real soon Love you guys. Peace.